It is a good day in paradise, baseball fans. Today, the Players Association has reached an agreement with the no good, dirty, rotten, pig stealing owners, and they have agreed on a new collective bargaining agreement. What does this mean? It means baseball is back starting mid-April. We're gonna have Major League Baseball games starting. I cannot wait. I'm so stoked. I know most of you are. We're gonna celebrate with a little logo ranking video. Today, I have chosen the Northwoods League. There are 24 teams in this league. This is a huge league. That said, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I do wanna give a shout out to my buddy Keanu, who supplied the background music for today's video. Appreciate you, Keanu. These are sick tracks. Good stuff, man. Thank you so much. Buddy Keanu, I know you're watching. We're not getting any younger, so we're gonna go ahead and jump things off today with the Thunder Bay Border Cats. I've said something like this before. If this is what I'm claiming to be like the worst logo. We're in for a treat because this really isn't that bad. To me, this feels just like a little boring. This looks more like the hat insignia than an actual logo. This actually looks to me the love child of if you took the Tampa Bay Rays and added in the Minnesota Twins, this is what you get. That TB and TC combined to make this. And it's really not bad. It's just a little boring. I do like the colors red and black. Those always look really nice together. I don't like that it says Border Cats down there at the bottom. That feels like a cheap cop out. If this was just that TB logo, this actually might be a little higher, but that Border Cats down there at the bottom has got to go. It's just kind of cheesy. At number 23, we've got the Madison Mallards. Looking at this, the art style is very similar to like Franklin the Turtle. I can't really place like why. It just, it feels a little like untextured in a way. I'm actually showing you only half the logo because the full logo looks like this. And what the hell is going on with this? You've got the Capitol building of Wisconsin in the background, so like a light little Madison skyline. Where it's placed, it looks like he's like pooping it out. And also he's got like one foot in a puddle and one foot out. Like what's happening there? How deep is that puddle? Why is there one foot in and one foot out? The home plate looks like a piece of cheese. I, that's fine, I guess. Do mallards eat cheese? I don't know. There's a whole lot going on with this full logo. And actually you can kind of see the evolution, this is a rebrand because they changed their logo pretty recently and I don't feel like they really needed to. I actually liked the older one. So this evolution here shows the logo from 2000 to 2010, which needed some attention. But that 2011 to 2020 looks fine. I actually think it looks pretty cool. And Mallard looks tough and fierce, but now he looks dopey and goofy and I don't like this, Madison. Why did you, why did you do your Mallard dirty like that? He was cool. Now he's not so cool. Yikes, moving on, <laughs> we've got the Wisconsin Rapids Rafters, which is A, already quite a mouthful. Ooh boy, the colors here are fantastic. I love that he's using a baseball bat as a paddle, cool touch. Yikes with that expression though, my goodness dude. This looks like an evil Chuck E. Cheese and I'm horrified. There's a lot to break down here. Let's check the possibilities. Mostly just that ratty, scary, awful, evil looking Chuck E. Cheese face that's bringing this down. The rest of it is so cool, but my God, that expression is horrifying. Next up, we've got the St. Croix Riverhounds. I also feel like this is a pretty strong logo. I do like that you've got like a kind of a home plate element in the back with a paddle and a baseball bat. And I think this looks cool. The expression on that dog is really tough and fierce. I like everything about this. Like the colors are fantastic. I like the trees in the background. I love the script and the font choice of Riverhounds looks really nice. The only thing that's really bringing this down is there's like a lot of competing elements. Feels like that dog down below is like competing with the rest of everything else here. And I like that dog. I mean, if your name is the Riverhounds, let that hound be like the main focus. And he just looks so small, but I love his expression. I love the hat that he's wearing. I really like the dog. I just kind of wish it was like featured in like part of like the main element of this logo. At number 20, we've got the Green Bay Rockers. There's nothing really too bad with this logo. It's, it's again, like what I just mentioned, we see a lot of competing elements. Like everything's trying to outdo each other. Got a guitar and a baseball bat and, a, and a, like a guitar pick in the background with this big font coming over the front. There's a lot of things kind of like competing for your attention and it just clashes. There's a lot of chaos. I'm not really sure what to look at first. I do love the baseball guitar. I think that's awesome. The fretboard on it looks really cool and it kind of mirrors the taping on the baseball bat. There's a lot of colors fighting for attention too. And it's just, it's just busy and not in a very particularly interesting way. Next up, we've gone with the Wausau Woodchucks. Again, this is a brand new or new-ish logo. And I can't say I'm in love with it. Contrary to popular opinion, I actually prefer this older one a little bit better. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this old logo because we're only looking at the new one but I really, really like this. And so it's disappointing to see that like, this didn't need a rebrand at all. I think this looks great. And what they've chosen is 
it's okay. The expression on the woodchuck is a little weird. I don't love his perspective. It's kind of odd because he's on a baseball bat and he's got all four legs on it. So like trying to imagine what that's like for him to stand on that in real life is just, it just makes me feel awkward knowing that he's in one plane. I do like the colors though. You know, that kind of bright green is not something you see a lot and it's hard to make that look good. I think the Seattle Seahawks probably had the best example of making a color combination like this look nice. I love the font of woodchucks. I think that looks fantastic. And I really like the kind of elemental shape that everything's in with this sort of shield. Overall, I think it looks nice, just not my favorite. And I like the old one a little better. Next up, we've got the Rockford Rivets. I'm not like a mechanic-y kind of guy, so I'm not really sure what exactly a rivet is or what's going on here. It has a nice industrial mechanical feel, which is what they were going for with a name like this. And they really did a good job at nailing that. The actual like gear thing himself has a cool expression. And I love the symmetry in this logo. This is something you could fold right in half. That symmetry looks really nice. Those colors really pop. If my car breaks down, I'm screwed. I have no idea like what's going on mechanically with anything in my car, in my household. So I don't really know what this is, but I do like it. I think they did a good job. It's a cool logo. I like the shading and he, he looks tough. Next up, we've got the Eau Claire Express. Very cool logo. I love that train popping out through the sea. I think it looks really nice. I love the perspective on the EC because it's it's not flat. There's like an angle to it. Kind of adds a little bit more motion with the train and everything. That brown is really cool. It's almost like a rusty coppery brown and I love that. It's a really cool color complements very well with that gray and that white and that black that are going on. I really, really like this. This looks more of like a hat logo and not like a main logo. So that's kind of bringing it down for me a little bit. But overall, I really like this. I'm gonna keep saying that a lot. I love the logos in this league. These are fantastic. It makes them really tough to rank because everything is so good. And number 16, I've got the Duluth Huskies. This one has a very kind of like academic feel to it. It reminds me so much of like the Yukon Huskies logo throughout the years. Look at these good boys down here. This is great. I really like this. Marty says hello. The D that that Husky is popping out of has a very kind of academic look to it, which is timeless, honestly. It looks really nice. It's a really cool font choice. I love the Husky, very good boy. At 15, I've got the Bismarck Larks. You know, I don't know a whole lot about Bismarck, North Dakota, so I don't really know what that building is that he's standing in front of with a baseball bat, but it looks cool. I love the whole like one elemental piece that this thing is in. That Lark actually looks pretty tough. Like he's about ready to like beat some people up. If we look at just that bottom piece, that word larks in yellow with that black background reminds me a lot of Batman for some reason. I guess it's just because I saw the Batman the other day and it's an amazing movie and it's still fresh on my mind. But tell me that that bottom area doesn't just look like the Batman logo. It's sick. I really like this. Black and yellow, obviously great color combination. I'm into it. I like the Bismarck Larks a lot. And at number 14, I've got the Lakeshore Chinooks. This one's really cool too. I feel like it's kind of tough to make a fish intimidating, but they did a good job here. I love the way that that fish is wrapping around the baseball. I really like the colors too. That gray with like that blue trim around the back looks great. I think the one thing that's bringing it down for me is that the main focus of this just appears to be like a big baseball right in the center. It's kind of the first thing you see. And so it'd be cool to see a little bit more action with the Chinook. I wish he was doing a little bit more than just kind of being like an accent piece on the side of the baseball, but it's still very cool. This is super clean. I like this logo a ton. At number 13, <laughs> we gotta go with the Honkers. Well, tip of the cap, because this logo is not telling us anything about the team name or the location. It's a bold choice, but they do it really well here. The trim around the actual honker duck goose thing matches the color of his eye. And I think that's a really neat touch. The expression on this guy is fierce and tough. This is yet another rebrand. And this is probably the only time I'm gonna say this today where this is leagues better than their old one. At number 12, we've got the Waterloo Bucks. This logo is freaking sick. Absolutely love those colors with that blue and yellow. They pop so nicely. It kind of has like a Looney Tunes vibe to me in a, in a way. And I love that he's got one antler coming forward and one antler antler coming backward out of that circle. It adds like a texture to it. The one big thing that's bringing me down, and I hate to even point this out because it's gonna bother you guys too after I do it, all the other elements that he's got pop out of that circle. So his ears, his antlers, his nose pops out of that first yellow ring. And I love that, that everything's coming out of the circle and the circle isn't like collapsing and containing him. Everything's coming out except for that little tuft of hair on his chest is completely cut off by that blue ring. I would really love to separate the words Waterloo and Bucks like up away to give his chest hair some room to come down. Please Waterloo graphic designer people, if you hear me, I just want to see my man's chest hair. I hate that I'm letting that bother me so much. I'm really trying not to. I've been having a good day. Baseball's back. We're having a good day. I'm not going to let that bother me. Moving on, got the St. Cloud Rocks. It's kind of like a minor looking dude. He's pretty tough, love his mustache. He's got a pickaxe 
but the whole thing is a baseball bat. What a cool touch. I like that a lot. Love those variations of blue and kind of gray that we've got going on. It makes everything look cold. It makes that rocks red and his hair and mustache really pop out. I love it. There's a there's a lot of like energy with this logo and it's very cool. Up next, the Kokomo Jackrabbits. Again, a lot of like energy flowing with this logo with that Jackrabbit. He looks fast, like his, he's got his ears kind of flying behind him. Makes him look like he's like running somewhere quickly. I love it. I love the colors of like that brown and yellow look so cool together. And again, there's really nice balance here where you've got like the rabbit head on the right with the Kokomo on the left. It's balanced really nicely and it looks really cool. That rabbit looks fierce, man, he looks tough. Now I've liked all the logos before now, but as we're getting into the top 10, these are logos that I'm absolutely in love with. And that's gonna give us the lacrosse loggers. Again, a lot of energy and things going on with this logo. You've got a lot of like big pieces here, but I don't think anything, it doesn't feel like anything's trying to like compete against each other. So this big log with the word loggers looks really nice. That big buzz saw cutting the thing in half. And then you've got like the actual logger dude himself with like a big old tree as a baseball bat. I love that. So you've got these bigger pieces and I don't feel like anything's trying to like outdo each other. I, if anything, I think these pieces all work harmoniously, very nicely together. I love the shadowing and the gradients going on here. Those shades of green are gorgeous. They look so nice with that brown from the beard, the bat, the log. Love everything about this logo. This is very cool. And number eight, got the stingers. There's something to me personally about bees with baseball logos. I haven't found a bad one yet. And this is just another one of those examples. It looks awesome. His little hands holding that bat are just like really cute and cartoony to me and they're really funny. But he also looks pretty tough and fierce. There's a lot of energy with this because he's about to hit that ball. I love that. I love the, the font, even like the S in Stinger says like a little Stinger on it. And it looks very cool. You know black and yellow are always gonna look really nice together. This is an awesome logo. At number seven, got the Minnesota Mud Puppies. What a name, but what a logo too. I really like the colors. I can't say I'm in love with that M though. It looks just like the logo for um, Miami University, Miami of Ohio. And I've never really been too crazy about that logo personally. I do love how his like red spots kind of mirror the color of that M. You're really only looking at like two colors here with that like gray and red. And I think overall it looks really nice. I love his expression. He almost looks like more like a like a dragon or some kind of dinosaur. He's really cool looking. His claws look really sharp. Yeah, this guy looks really fierce. And I, I love the interaction here, how he's just kind of like wrapping around that M, like he's defending it almost. I, I like that. I think it's really cool. I really like this logo. I'm really trying not to let my bias show here because I've seen the Kenosha Kingfish in person. I actually went to a game a few years ago uh, with my Aunt Lou. So if you're watching Aunt Lou, shout out to you. I had a great time. Can't wait to go back to another one. And so I'm really trying not to let my bias show with this logo, but I think it's fantastic. It's so easy to like. That fish is really tough, he's really fierce. I love his crown, super cool. The gills up on his neck mirror like the stitching of a baseball. And I always thought that was like a really nice subtle touch. The golden colors of the fish look great. I've always thought these colors were really strong and I've always loved this logo. And again, I'm really trying not to let my bias show with that. Uh, it's really hard not to though. This is a fantastic logo. Hold up, we're gonna take five. A few moments later. Cheers, Marty. Got the Kalamazoo Growlers. This logo is freaking awesome. How can you deny that? That bear is like sweeping down over this kind of like downtown sort of thing with Kalamazoo. He's got a baseball in his hand. He looks so ferocious. The colors on this are amazing. You've got all kinds of energy going on. All of that, plus you've got the double meaning of Growlers being that Kalamazoo is a very well-known beer city. Cheers to you, Growlers, man. That's awesome. This logo is unbelievably cool. I hate to move on for the Growlers, but we gotta. At number four, we've got the Battle Creek Battle Jacks. Quite a mouthful to say, but again, incredible logo. That dog is an excellent combination of cute, but super fierce. I love his motion of like charging forward with the baseball bat and the banner for the team. Looks so cool. We don't see the word baseball. We don't see a baseball anywhere. He does have a baseball bat, but more importantly, he's got catcher's gear. And what a sick creative way to wrap this whole thing up and let us know that, hey, this is a baseball logo. Carrying the banner, go Battle Jacks. Love, love, love this logo. And now we've got our top three, starting off with yet another good boy, the Mankato Moondogs. The simplicity on this logo, 
works insanely well. They're called the moon dog, so you have a dog standing in front of like a round object, what I'm assuming is supposed to be the moon. I love that it's kind of like a blood red moon, so it's got this nice orange color, and that color matches so nicely with like the gray of the dog and the yellow of the bat. These colors work so well together, and I love the expression on the dog's face. He's so tough, he's so fierce, and he just looks, he looks very focused, like he's just sharp, focused, determined, and ready to win. The expression is just super cool. This is so well done. It's so simple compared to some of the logos we've seen so far. I think the simplicity works so well here. This is such a clean, nice, sharp focus logo. Love it. I hope that I'm saying this correctly, but at number two, we've got the Fond du Lac Dock Spiders. Man, this is cool. That spider looks so creepy and scary, but in a good way. I do love, I love the expression on his face. He looks like he's ready to pounce from a top on that dock. The actual, font selection for dock spiders is so cool. It's like, it's got spider webs and rope in it. It's like splintered wood. So it looks like something you would see on an actual dock. That font is so creative and so unique and it works so well. And I just love all the interacting pieces here with like the spider and the dock that he's sitting on top of ready to jump on and the water down there at the bottom. Everything looks so good. There's not a single element or piece of this logo that feels out of place. It's also got like a nice balance and symmetry to it. Everything about this is perfect. Gorgeous colors. There's not really much else I can say. This logo speaks for itself. This is one of the creepiest mascot looking logos I've seen in a long time. I love this so much. The dock spiders are sick. This is really cool. For my number one choice, I felt that this one was super difficult to beat, but there's so many logos in this league that can make a case, but I just had to give it to the Pit Spitters. I've definitely seen this logo um, bouncing around the internet with different like best of the best baseball logos. And I actually saw a guy, I was in Austin, Texas a few weeks ago, and I saw a guy wearing a Pit Spitter shirt. I don't know where the dude was from. I don't even know if he knows of this team or if he just liked the logo, but it just goes to show what good logo design can do. Like people will just rep your stuff, whether they like your team or not. The biggest feature of this logo is the actual script for Pit Spitters which is so clean. It's just such a crisp, sharp, like traditional looking baseball font. There's a reason the classics are classics for a reason. Like this font is gorgeous and it's got a lot of like little subtleties to it. So it's got like a leaf on the P to mimic the leaf that's on the stems of the cherries that are spitting their seeds. And it's funny because the seeds are actually baseballs. That's a fun little touch. The P in the word spitter also has a seed popping out of it, which is funny. The expression on the cherries uh, are pretty goofy looking. And the actual motion of like the seeds or the balls being spit out of their mouth is a little weird for me and it kind of like makes this thing a little more cartoony. But I'm not mad about that overall. I think this is phenomenal. The stylization on those cherries actually make them look freaking delicious. Like I actually want to like eat them. They look amazing. But this is also a really great balance of like fun and goofy but clean and crisp and taking itself seriously knowing that it's got a ridiculous name and i love it everything about this logo works perfectly i'm pretty happy to have it at number one well guys that is going to do it for another ranking video hope you enjoyed this i love this league i don't think there's a bad logo in this at all so this was a lot of fun to put together as always i super appreciate your support if you enjoyed this content go ahead and leave a like Give me a comment, let me know which one yours was your favorite. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I've been doing a lot of this content, plan to do more of it, plus more baseball related content here in the future. And guys, seriously, give yourself a round of applause for surviving the 2022 baseball lockout. Baseball is back, baby. Look forward to seeing everyone in the next video. Cheers, guys.